Good day everyone! This lesson will help you to understand and describe the different levels of biological organization from cell to biosphere. Let us first understand what is biology. Biology is a branch of science that deals with living organisms and their vital processes. The word biology is derived from the Greek word bios, meaning life, and logos, meaning study. To study the biological level of organization, we need to start with the simplest building block of life, the cell. The cell is the smallest independently functioning unit of a living organism. A cell can regulate its internal environment, take in and use energy, respond to its environment, and develop and maintain its complex organization. All organism is composed of cells. In any multicellular organism, cells do not function alone. Cells that are similar in structure and function are usually linked together to form tissues. Tissues are the second level of biological organization. For example, the cells in our bones form bone tissues, a strong solid tissue that give us shape and support. The blood cells in our body are part of blood tissue, a fluid tissue responsible for transporting food and oxygen throughout our body. The tissue are further organized to form organs. An organ is an anatomically distinct structure which composed of two or more types of tissue that work together. Our heart, for example, is an organ that is made up of muscle, tissue, and nerve tissue. You are probably familiar with the names of several body organs. We have the brain, lungs, stomach, and kidney. Similar to cells and tissue, Organs rarely work by itself. Organs, in a way, collaborate with other organs and perform a specific function. This organ forms an organ system. The organ system is the next higher level of organization in living things. We define organ system as a group of organs working together to perform a specific function for an organism. The best example of an organism is you. Yes, you are an organism. Dogs, cats, and other animals around us are also organisms. Even single-celled bacterium is an organism. Organism is an individual living thing that may be made up of one or more organ system that carries out all the basic life functions. The organisms of the same kind we call it species that live in the same area make up a population. Like when individual person lives in the same area or location, they make up the human population of that area. And if a certain species of fish like milkfish or locally known as bangus are living in the same area, they compromise the milkfish population. The entire array populations that live in the same location make up a community. The community consists of different populations of organisms living in the same area. For example, the Laguna Lake caters to different kinds of living things like fishes, water plants, and grasses. All of these organisms compromise the community of living things in the lake. When the community interacts with the physical environment, which includes water, air, sunlight, soil, rock, and minerals, this brings us to the next level of organization called ecosystem. An ecosystem consists of all the living things in a given area together with the non-living things. The Dumaka'a River is an example of an ecosystem. A group of similar ecosystem with the same type of physical environment is called a biome. Many different biomes consist of biosphere. 
The biosphere is the part of our planet where all life exists, including all the environments on the Earth that support life. This includes regions of land, bodies of water, and the lower portion of the atmosphere. Again, the levels of biological organization starts with cell, tissue, organ, organ system, organism, population, community, ecosystem, biomes, and biosphere. That's it! I hope you learned a lot from today's session. Thank you so much for tuning in.